I have always felt that, um, you know, having a, a, a world behind, you know, the game convention and having kind of a deep sense of history and context that underlies the gameplay itself um, adds a lot more dimensionality to, to your experience, you know, that ultimately, you know, video games at some level are kind of this transportive, immersive, you know, um, escapist hobby. And um, one of our first core values at Blizzard has always been, you know, gameplay first, you know, such that, uh, you know, you might have the coolest story to tell in the world, and if it's not fun within the first five minutes of play, nobody's going to care. Um, so gameplay always predicates, you know, what, how we build our products, but I've always felt that just below that surface, if you can have your cake and eat it too, if you can have a really tight, you know, uh, you know well-knit game experience um, and, and have that kind of underlying fiction and, and sense of cohesion, that you've got something very, very special. The, the fantasy kit over the, the bones of, of that, those first Warcraft games was really just really clever wallpapering in a way. Um, and as the armies and units really started to come to life and the functionality of each unit and the combos of, of, of various you know, tactical units started to really take shape, really bringing out some of those flavors. No, this one's a troll. No, this one's an ogre and they're from this land. And all the kind of world kit that began to um, spring up around those mechanical ideas really created a very different kind of product for us. And it began to take on a personality that, you know, um, when we began, we didn't really anticipate. One of the things that's uh, been interesting to us, you know, from the Blizzard culture point of view is that, you know, we're pretty insular in general. Most of us are kind of geeky introverts and we just like hanging out with each other and making up cool stuff and making games. and. And I think um, what's been interesting and exciting, but also scary to us is kind of now being part of pop culture and you know, doing museum exhibits and doing things like BlizzCon and having fans. And, and it's you know, been shocking in good and bad ways. And you know, now having people that grow up and say, hey, they, were, they played World of Warcraft and are inspired by it, you know, maybe the same ways that um, you know, we were inspired by films we saw in the 80s or something. You know, I think that's really powerful, and I think we have a lot of responsibility now to do that well and to be good role models and to inspire kind of our audience to you know, hopefully be that next generation after us to make awesome entertainment.